Hi ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to my Player Homes of Skyrim series. Uh, today we have, uh, well we became uh, Thane of Yarl March and we've bought the land for Winstad Manor. Uh, Winstad Manor sits on the uh, lightly forested banks of the delta um, between the Carth and Yarl rivers um, in northern uh, Yarl March. Uh, to the west is um, Solitude and to north uh, is the Sea of Ghosts. Um, just a stone throw away is the uh, Nordic tomb of Highgate Ruins. And for those that you have done the Dark Brotherhood quest as well, it's uh, very close uh, to the abandoned shack. So if you have done that, it's very easy to uh, get to it when you've uh, first purchased the land. As you can see, this is um, not the soft uh, and comfortable area like Lakeview Manor. Um, it's not as children friendly. Um, that's why I actually moved my family to Lakeview Manor. Um, but it's a beautiful and stark uh, environment. Uh, and as you can see to the left is the fishery. Um, the hawkers are all sniffing around that, but they can't get in. I'm using a Draco mod, um, as I did with my Lakeview Manor one. A very, very good mod. Very, very good. Completely in law. As you can see with this build, there are no roof terraces uh, at all. I'm using the greenhouse wing, the kitchen wing and the trophy room. Um, so you have no upstairs uh, uh, spaces uh, to, to use. Still the house looks very beautiful. I have um, three guards. Um, I've got a uh, uh, a house car and I'm using Mold the Lioness as my steward and she's brought her little tow along with her horse, carriage, um, cow, three chickens yeah very beautiful home and a view very very beautiful area And those of you who uh, saw my uh, video on becoming a Thane of Yarmarch, um, I'm wearing the Tavern Maze clothes. Um, Sylvia hasn't seen them yet, so that'd be a nice surprise for her when I go home. And you can see the detail of the mod as well, it's fantastic. So, I'll just walk you around. And the entrance hall is the same as uh, all the other uh, half-fire homes. Uh, lots of storage, weapon plaques, um, ornaments, glass cases. There you go, you wander through to the main hall. Again, that will be a standard room for all the, uh, the half-fire homes. And I've got my alchemy table uh, down in the main room. And again, this is exactly the same for all Hearthfire homes. You don't have to have as much stuff as I've put in it, but I kind of like the, uh, the cluttered look. Quite an impressive haul. So... We go into the, I think it's called a greenhouse, but it's, it's all stone. But this is where you can plant all your uh, vegetables or ingredients, uh, whatever you like. And a good way to combine this, I would think, with these, with the alchemy uh, tower. And I think it's more of a role-playing uh, room as well. through to one of the back rooms a 
again, this is a standard half fire room. Lots of storage, cases, safes, glass cabinets. So next we go into uh, the second wing and what I've built here was the uh, trophy room. And this is actually a really nice room. Um, it's quite impressive. And you can have a variety of, of uh, stuff on the plinth. I was really talking about putting this into my Lakeview Manor House, but uh, I kind of felt it wasn't right for the role-playing family home. Uh, this would have scared the uh, bejesus out of the, uh, the kids, so uh, I went with the, uh, the chaotic storage rooms with full of stuff that the kids would like. But it is a very, very nice room, this. It takes quite a lot, a lot of materials to make it, though. Okay, next we're going to go down into the uh, the cellar. And as before, this is a standard um, feature in all the half my homes. Obviously, um, I have the mod here, so I've got some extra stuff. Um, I'll give you a better look if you go to my previous Lakeview Manor video. Um, you get a better look around here. And this is uh, most definitely one of my favourite rooms in in all the uh, the Hearthfire series. And as I mentioned before, I've got the General Stores mod on this. And if we go down here, we uh, have the system with this mod. And essentially this is uh, where you can organise all your stuff. And I really do like it down here, they've made it very atmospheric. And uh, that's the cellar. Oddly enough I haven't had any skiver attacks at all yet, so uh, still waiting for those. Every now and then you have to pop uh, pop back in and, and kill a few uh, skeevers. Okay, to the next wing. And we've got the kitchen. And there you go. This would have been actually more suitable for my Lakeview Manor, but I, I really did want the armory um, for just practical purposes, really. A good kitchen. And, and food has got a lot of uh, uh, good stuff going for it, and, and it's not really utilised enough in Skyrim. Okay, so we'll head upstairs. Here's my bard. She has probably the worst voice I've ever heard. She is awful. Anyway, upstairs, as you can see, there are no doors to the outside because of the nature of the wings I've put on. Um, I'll quickly go through it again. There's a stand of rooms um, uh, for all the hearth fire rooms, uh, houses, sorry. Um, a couple of beds, storage, glass cases, plaques, ornaments, the usual stuff, bookcases. And this um, house, this is uh, our bed.
and moving out into landing um, I've got my enchanting table a mannequin uh, storage glass uh, display cabinet etc um, so I have everything I need to actually function as, as a player and that's pretty much it for this home it's a fantastic home it's probably not the wings that I would choose um, but each one's good for a certain type of role play so with that um, I'll leave you with the external views and I hope you enjoyed this video and if you want to do a comparison for all the wings just keep on watching this series so you can then pick and choose what you want and I hope you enjoyed the video uh, if you did please leave a like leave a comment and don't forget to uh, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys later